Head back over to the Storm Team Weather Center with Chief Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum. This weather is is unbelievable, but somebody mentioned that it felt like spring has returned to Alabama. <laughs> it really feels like spring. You're in the 80s in November when normally we should only be in the 60s for high temperatures. Right now, beautiful outside, right? You can't go wrong with this. Uh, just gorgeous conditions from our BJCC camera. 80 degrees here in town. Southwest winds around 8. Humidity is low. Dew points are creeping up a little higher, but still very low, very dry air in place around the area. 80 degree temperatures from Tuscaloosa, Fayette, uh, Moundville area, back to Talladega, Asheville, Gadsden area, and of course everyone else in the upper 70s, 79 in Jasper, Alabaster, Clanton, Alex City, all of you at 77 degrees, and all the southeast sitting in the lower 80s to upper 70s as well. 80 from Huntsville to Montgomery, Mobile at 78, 84 in Jackson, Mississippi. How about that now? Memphis coming in around 81 degrees, and high pressure off to North Florida, and that's the key because you have the clock clockwise flow around it that brings up those southerly winds here and that's what's helping to warm us up. Unfortunately, not bringing back a lot of moisture with this, so we're not going to see a lot of humidity coming back up. Unfortunately, when that front gets here on Friday, so in the short term, this evening looking good for those kids sports temperatures falling from the upper 60s at 6 o'clock to the lower 60s by 10 o'clock tonight and overnight tonight. We're talking low temperatures down in the 40s and 50s, still the typical cooler spots. Asheville Gadsden in the upper 40s, 56 here to Tuscaloosa. Jasper about 51, 52 in Alabaster tonight. Alex City maybe 49 degrees for you. And then tomorrow rebounding nicely. Some few clouds come in. Temperatures midday around 80 degrees. We'll get up to around 82 in the afternoon. That's close to the record high of 85 degrees. So we're going to get a little bit close to that, but not quite to the record. 83 Tuscaloosa to Jasper. How about 81 in Asheville tomorrow? It's same for you in Alabaster. But notice the average high is supposed to be 68 degrees, so way above average for us here. And we're going to stay dry through much of Wednesday and all of Thursday till late Thursday into Friday. And then you see a little rain coming back into play, but don't get overly excited with this. Our next weather maker is a cold front, which we've seen come through before here. This one Thursday night and Friday night will bring us a few showers and also some much cooler temperatures as we head into the upcoming weekend. So here's how it's going to play out. That high moves away from us. Here comes our front into Thursday night moving into town. The rain's kind of post front, so in behind it. Huntsville and Tupelo area, though, back to about, say, Little Rock Thursday evening. Friday morning, we'll see a couple of showers trying to move in through lunchtime, but notice not as much rain now. The models are painting here as we head on into Friday. Now Saturday may still have some rain. Low upper level waves going to ride along this stalled front. Another one to come through on Sunday. That could actually be our bigger rainmaker for us here. The way things are shaping up right now. This is Sunday morning. So as you get to church, may have a little rain, but by the afternoon that rain would be gone. Unfortunately, the rain totals nothing significant, maybe a quarter to a half an inch across central Alabama, and that helps, but it's not enough, of course, to get rid of our drought conditions. So enjoy the 80s today, tomorrow, and into Thursday, and then Friday. Here comes the cooler temperatures in the 60s with those showers for Veterans Day weekend. We stay in the mid-60s all the way through next Tuesday before maybe another weather event on Wednesday.